hello everyone welcome to my channel so today in this video we are trying to identify the coin name which are in which are performing good so i mean like uh, we the par price is continuously increased for last three days okay so just to give you some idea like uh, uh yes let me sort it based on the coin name or coin id okay so yes now if you can see the bitcoin this is the something data frame which we have so this is uh, if you can talk about the data set it just contain the coin id and name the particular trading date and at what price they open and close okay so we are more interested in the particular uh, coin name which are continuously or we can consecutively price increase for a three days okay so if you can see at the first day bitcoin was 435 you at then the second day it's a 440 yeah it's performed good means it's increased for one day and then again it's get down so yes we are not interested in bitcoin okay so yes these are the something which is not interested in the second is ethereum okay so here the first price is 325 you then it's a 330 then it's 335 you and then it's 340 yes it's continuously improved okay so that's why we can say yes we are interested in this record okay the third is this so here also it looks like increase first it was uh, on the first fave it was 225 on the second is 130 then 135 and 140 so yes it's also in increased manner so yes at the end we are expecting the two coins one is ethereum and one is solon okay so now to import to perform this or to implement it with the help of PySpark so just think about it how we can implement okay so i am just uh, explore ex i am just ex sharing my way to do that okay so here let me share my databricks community edition so hope it is visible for you guys so yeah so here i am creating this data frame with the which is nothing but the same which we have discussed in excel okay and I'm trying to create with this column name and yeah display so yes now we have our data set with the same four records for Bitcoin Ethereum and Solana for the date of 1st of February so here as we have just imported and the date is in a string format and as uh, we need to do I mean plan to implement the lag and lag and windows function we are need to use so just to implement it in proper way I should convert this state field with the with, to the particular date time format so yes for that I'm trying to write this uh, transformation mm. So yes, now the particular date is into the date format. Okay. So now let's move. Let move and just check how we can achieve this. So here, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to take the partition on coin ID. We you can take the coin ID or coin name. Anything is fine as both are the unique. And then I'm performing the order by the date. Okay. And here I'm performing the two lag operation. I mean, so perform. I'm creating the Two fields with the help of lag operation first is with offset one so and another with the offset two okay so how it will react is like um, when we are creating with the offset one it will just go back and check the last one record so what I mean is suppose if you are doing for Bitcoin it will just take this three record this record okay so here it for, for first record it will be null okay as the offset is one and then for the second record it will pick the f previous value similarly for this it will pick this and for the fourth February it will pick the value from the third February like this it will work and for offset two it will go back for the two days so I mean here you will get the value null here also you will get the value null and now here you will get the value for first of February for the third means after before two days value okay this and for the fourth you will get the second Feb value so like this it will work okay so now 
we as we are performing our operation so let me go back to data bricks and yes so yes uh, if we uh, the same thing i am doing here so let me execute it yes so as we discuss for bitcoin with offset zero we are getting the null for first of february's record then for the second we are getting the first value for third we are getting the second fib value and for the fourth fib we are getting the third fib value and similarly for offset two values we are getting for third february we are getting the value of the first february and for the fourth february we are getting the value from the second of fib okay so hope you understand now the main thing is uh, we just need to perform our filter operation to get the required values okay so what we need to check is as this now, now this is in something called as a uh, ascending order so first this record is for the current date then the one before date and one before date okay so like this so what we are trying to look out is we are we need to check like the 4th of february's value should be greater than the 3rd of february value and the 3rd of february value should be greater than the 2nd of february value and the 2nd of february value should be greater than the 1st of february value so like this it may be any combination we will get like 1 2 3 or 2 3 4 something like that so but here in our case uh, let me filter out and explain you in proper way like uh, let me just take an example for one coin ID. Okay, so which is nothing but the Bitcoin. So as uh, this has a null value for the previous two, so it will also get uh, ignored or you can say the filter out this record previous column two equals to uh, is not null, I will just consider, okay. Sorry, it not null. So now we have these two records, but uh, if you can see now what we are more interested in this close price should be greater than this value and this value should be greater than this value, right? But yes, this is failing as uh, this 4th of February's value is 130 and the previous value we are expecting should be greater, uh, should be less than 430, right? And similarly for this is uh, for the 3rd of February value is uh, 439 here is 440 and here is 1435 so that's why it is not performing well so because this uh, value is greater here in case if it is uh, 400 sorry 438 so that time it may be come here and we can see the trend like uh, previously it was 435 then it's a 438 and now it's a 433 so in this case it seems like a improvement right so let me so bitcoin we are not expecting in our output so for the second one yes now here you can see we have the closing price of 135 previously it was 330 and previously and before that or be, yeah here is 325 means continuously you can see the improvement here for the 3rd of february it was 335 then second on it's a 330 then before that for 1st of february it was 325 so that's why we are expecting ethereum as well and i think it will work for other as well yes now previously it was 125 then it's 130 and now it's a 135 okay so yes according to this we are expecting to implement this condition okay so here i am trying to implement this condition like uh, close price is uh, less than previous close price and this price is, should be less than this price closing price and i am just selecting coin id and coin name so let me execute yes we are getting this two result which is expected one so yes uh, in this way it will work but uh, now just the most important part is this is only this part it will not only work for this kind of example but uh, yes any kind of uh, example you want to implement 
with respect to the time period like if you are working on some retail data set where you need to figure it out what all the products are continuously in improvement state in that case also you can utilize this thing as well as if you are interested in work if you if you are working with some uh, weather kind of data set and if you are interested in or if you get a requirement to check at which location particular uh, uh, you can say the uh, rainfall or something like heat are more increasing manner or something like that in both the case you can utilize this kind of thing yeah hope you understand please uh, subscribe to my channel and yes thank you for watching thank you